this was started by our two predecessors it was president mahinda rajapaksa who took an interest to ensure water is made available to this area which is called a dry zone and your president hamanji who agreed to enter into an agreement to help sri lanka it had many challenges your country and my country are used to this type of challenges so we overcame them and now we have the umar project this is also getting together of two ancient irrigation traditions those yes. of persia iran and those of sri lanka anuradhapur and sri lanka we could not have diverted the tributaries of the umaoya into kirindioya without the technology available to you all we have learned from you and the engineering skills of modern iran are well known your technology skills cover every field you are an example of a country which develops its technology to an advanced level by your own effort well, self sufficiency no. so what is common with us we should strengthen we are all countries that belong to the south at a time when south uh, now wants to establish its own identity and its own independence so these types of projects of cooperation certainly strengthens that outlook and to this area which is a part of the dry zone you made water available irane takshane samaga api umaya atuganga We hope to commence industrial operations in the Hambantota district with new investment zones. We have already given approval for China Sinopec to commence a refinery. We will introduce a new economy for Hambantota. With this new technology, we can cultivate around 6000 hectares. We will get 120 megawatts of hydropower. There is no issue in pricing. Iran and Sri Lanka as developing nations are part of the global south. We have shown our strength in moving forward. We need to work closely with Iran. ඉදිරියට යන්න කියලා. ඒ නිසා ඉරානයේ සමග මීට වඩා කිට්ටු සම්බන්ධකම් ඇති කරගෙන අපි ඉදිරියට යමු.